Welcome to Tea Welcome Time. Welcome to Tea Time. This is Tea. Tommy Watt and this is E. Elijah. And this is our first Tea Time episode. Yeah. So and it's taken us 5 minutes and 39 seconds to get. <laughs> but you don't know that. You do now. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got in the centre, we thought it would be a good idea just to kind of vocalise some of our experiences having well, almost reached the first year of being oh married. Gosh, you're so crazy. Yeah, crazy. 27th of July. All oh my days. And we're going on holiday too, but we'll yeah. get on to that another time. Um, but yeah, we thought it would just be a good idea to kind of, yeah, as I said, vocalise some of our thoughts, feelings, personal experiences, being married being black <laughs> being young and most importantly as Tom reminded me um being Christian yeah um, we basically wanted to kind of we've had this thought for over a year now yeah. where we just thought based on the challenges we faced entering marriage mm. trying to juggle obviously as Christians God first and being yeah. like you know chasing that godly lifestyle but with the challenges of being young mm. Brits yeah. who also just want to like do us, live our lives but finding those challenges and the balance of being in in a world where there are so many different cultures so many different religions, so many different ways of lives and you know everyone has more or less their own moral compass mm. everyone has their own kind of guide in terms of how and why they do things and we're hoping that we can relate or touch or reach out to people who may be experiencing our kind of dilemmas in terms of what it is to be messy and chaotic mm. but still call yourself a Christian. Yeah. Yes. Um, which is my everyday life. <laughs> it's pure chaos. Yeah. Um, but how we overcome those hurdles and how kind of even just accepting the imperfection, like mm. what it is to truly be a Christian isn't to be holier than thou and have everything worked out and be perfect. Like even before getting to like this episode here. I was already staring Elijah down because I wanted to get over and done with and he had to remind me to be patient, you know what I mean? Like, there are all these things that I think I've seen so many Christians and so many couples and so many videos where it's kind of like, you need to do this and the mm. other and this is the reason why. And like, yeah, there's certain things you need to do. Yeah. But also, what like, give me the real. Give me, mm. like, the time you messed up. Give me yeah. the hurdles. How did you overcome the imperfection? Don't tell me just to be perfect. Don't just tell me this verse and that verse. How do I apply it? And what are the results in a real life situation, you know? Like, mm. I think we've grown so much in this past year alone. Yeah. And even towards coming up to marriage, there are things that we did actively to try and grow in our spirit, in our faith, in each other as mm. well. Um, yeah, and we just want to, like, take that journey with everyone else. And maybe if there's another young Christian couple out there who are going through some sorts of... Some sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of, I guess, their own trials, yeah. their own tribulations, if you want to call it that. Mm. I think we're, I'd like to think we're real and we don't kind of um, sugarcoat. Sugar yeah. yeah, the sort of things that we go through. And I think this is just an opportunity for us to kind of, first of all, put ourselves out there mm. and see who it resonates to. Um, because... I know we're not alone in sort of the certain things that we've dealt with and the things that we still deal with and it's an ongoing sort of journey really mm. and if we can at least voice some of the things that we think and kind of put a, put it out there yeah. hopefully it'll be received and it will kind of just be in God's hands and take it to where it needs to, to be really um, but yeah but Tea time, as I guess you can kind of guess. Yeah, but we should have done it instead. <laughs> Get yourself a cup of tea. The aim is we don't want it to be too, like, no one no. wants to hear people talk for too long. No. Depends where this goes. Maybe you want to hear us talk. There's so days. many topics we, we talk about personally anyway mm. that we find ourselves trying to understand from a Christian perspective yeah. whilst identifying with who we are. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a, whole, it's a whole thing. And you may find that we change during this time, putting aside time to discuss these things we've already saved some topics that we wanted to discuss yeah. and talk about yeah. yeah i know i know for me being a man being a young black man and the head of this family the head of the, the, head of the household <laughs> um there's a lot of things that i have to navigate and a lot of things that i'm unlearning and kind of like learning at the same time it's a constant process and 
just becoming more aware of what the Bible says and how it applies to right now in this world where mm. so many different things that tell you go this way, go that way. It's so easy to become, I guess, a bit confused. Yeah. Um, and so in the thick of it, you just got to try and find, and that's what I'm trying to do, try and find what's right in accordance to what God wants me to do because, mm. you know, the Bible is eternal. The word doesn't change, but truth be told, the circumstances of the society changes day mm. in and day out. So it's very difficult um, to kind of find find that route, find that place where it makes sense and you're not kind of, uh, I guess, diverging away from what the Bible is saying. But yeah, I, I guess this introduction is just, uh, as it is, just a way for us to kind of let you guys know and you girls <laughs> um, <laughs> why we're doing this and the format of it will be as it is casual oh. as we are um, and it will be in a car because we have be nowhere car, else to record yeah, sure. we, we don't we don't have the budget we for, don't have the budget for anything else <laughs> humble beginnings <laughs> but this is our origin story, this is our origin story. <laughs> and hopefully you guys will appreciate the journey because yeah. we don't know where it's going to take us yeah. and I, we're not we're not even looking for anything really it's just we've wanted to do it space, yeah, you know space space to talk. like it's been on our hearts i feel like the fact it's been on our hearts for over mm. a year and we've not been like oh i don't want to do this anymore yeah. if anything it's been more apprehension it's kind of yeah, like do you know what anxiety. it's worth giving it a go mm. and then finding out what happens then not giving it a go that's what you said about anxiety mm. and i guess that fear of the unknown and how ugh, how everything is so fluid yeah. nowadays and there's a room for anything goes sort of mentality. I think generally people are afraid to commit to one thing. Um, yeah, and you could take that however you want to take that. Um, what do you mean afraid to commit to one thing? Though? As in, uh, like, like in terms of, okay, like religion. Yeah. Like having, like, for those that don't know, I studied religion at university. Having seen people and religious attitudes, I think more and more people are taking parts of religions they like and kind of just applying it to some sort of form of like universal religion that doesn't mm. doesn't obey to one sort of deity mm. um and obviously there's one religions that don't that do that already that is in like they don't have a single deity yeah. but i think there's a shift towards like spirituality and enlightenment that not in a buddhist sense but enlightenment that kind of just fits our own worldview so in case in terms of like what suits the person yeah. rather than yeah. them going for what's yeah in place with and then that means there's no room for anyone to challenge you because that's your own perception of what mm. you believe religion is and so mm. therefore you can't be wrong yeah. and i think when people i think as people we just have there's an apprehension or there's like a we we can't let go mm. like to know there's an external force that we don't have control over but controls us that controls us although then there's a whole free will discussion yeah but yeah no even for people who aren't christians who may watch this who may just want an insight in terms of like why do they move like this why do christians do this that another why do they give everything to god why is it god first why are there so many things going wrong in the world how can you serve a god that da, 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 da. Mm. i think it'll be just such a good platform that because for that because even i only recently i say recently now maybe like almost two years ago no a year ago mm. When did I finish? It was two years ago. No. It was maybe it's January. Up to two years. It's got yeah. maybe coming up to a year. Anyway, within a year or so, I've read the Bible from front to back. And before I read the Bible, I had so many things where I was just like, Oh, like why do I serve a God who does this and other? Like I've just always had a pull and a mm. yearning and it was COVID that made me like, Oh my gosh, like God is real. And there've been so many things that have happened in my life personally that even if I'm annoyed at the way things pan out, for me, I don't think I could ever deny God's real. I feel like I can get angry and annoyed and confused about why God made that certain things happen. Mm. However, I personally just through my own experiences i can't deny there's a god and i know god like believing in god is meant to be a faith app like the whole reason it's about belief and faith is that there's no kind of necessarily solid like scientific if you want to go down that route like oh here's the proof to the but it is experience there's things i've experienced that i just there's no way that mm. god wasn't behind that yeah. i've had conversations with non-christians where we've had complete different opinions and 
understandings and we've both kind of held our own and re and that's my favorite kind of discussion with opposing things where you can still yeah. respect what the other person is saying and come to because you may agree to disagree type of thing but at least you kind of walk away with like okay i get why they think that way that type of thing mm -hmm. um but yeah i'd definitely say for me it's like it's an ongoing journey there's a lot to still learn like i still don't know verses off the top of my head mm. for goodness sake I, man's out here saying you know i've read the bible from beginning to end i, I couldn't tell you i know <laughs> somewhere somewhere, somewhere between <laughs> i swear it's a good oh <laughs> yeah but yeah i think yeah the bible intrigues me so much um and you know the word is perfect but mm. what, I, what i love about the bible is though of course it's a holy text mm. it's it's just filled with so many imperfect people that are going through or have gone through mm. situations that we go through mm. and it's timeless in the sense that those stories apply to us yeah. even when they took place like how many like thousands, thousands of years, years ago yeah. um and there's so much to take from it mm. um and even with that with the imperfect imperfect perfect characters that we mm. follow through and through there's just that central thread of god just literally being there yeah. guiding or providing some discernment or guidance to these people and i guess it instills a sense of hope mm. like like we're, we're, we're still young yeah <laughs> so there's so much for us to learn and even for those that are not well classify themselves as young there's so much to learn and this understanding of how time isn't linear in God's eyes. Like, mm. There's always time for you to kind of just live as, as he intends us to. There is literally a verse about that in the Bible. I can't remember what it was, but how like, something to do with forgiveness and how God has given time because he's given people an opportunity to make the right decisions mm. and come to him and and everything. Yeah. yeah. But um, I guess we'll have plenty of time to delve, into it. <laughs> to delve into all these different discussions that kind of pop up in our mind i think it's only right we kind of broadcast it mm. and... but we'd want people watching to like interact as well if there's certain points yeah. that like questions you want answered mm. um we may not give the right answer by the way i'm yeah. just, you can ask the question yeah. you may not get the answer you, want. you may not, or may not even get an answer <laughs> because we may not have the answer <laughs> well you may just come over like, oh, no, <laughs> there what are you talking about what <laughs> Uh, which which chapter is that? Which chapter <laughs> um, no, but we were always like we always discuss things, but mm. we discuss things like Elijah and I personally, like with the understanding we don't necessarily know the answer, but it's always good to try and like work things out and think and like where this guy did flip in theology at university, so he is by nature a thinker, <laughs> um, and I just have an overactive mind, so I'm always thinking about maybe like five things at the same time, yeah, so. True if you have questions or topics or discussions or things that are going on we won't want to talk too much about everything that's going on in the world yeah. all the time because do you know what at times it's not always for you to have an opinion on things at times sometimes you have to know what's none of your business sometimes mm. you have to know like i ain't i ain't part of that i ain't got to talk about that mm. i don't even really have an opinion on that and that is absolutely fine but um yeah we want we want it to be as interactive like we want to have people maybe in the future we yeah. want to have discussions challenges those difficult nitty-gritty things but we also want to hopefully see a change within us mm. and maybe impact other people like we we're on our own journey and yeah. we are like so imperfect there's times people come to i will speak more so for me and i'm just like why would you ask me to do this like i'm probably the worst example <laughs> of someone so like look up to who me um <laughs> Hmm, you know, there's just like, yeah, there's, we, we are so imperfect, but we want to share that kind of imperfection and how it's okay to be who you are as long as you're reflecting and trying to just keep bettering yourself and also have fun at times. Like, don't, yeah. there's not always, I say at times, I'm all about having fun as much as possible, but it's like, don't always try and just be serious like we only have this one life like bring mm. joy where you can bring peace where you can yeah. kindness love learning improvement mm. like it's all about balance at the end of the day so we hope to bring that this is the end of our first episode of tea mm -hmm. time we did it yeah. and um yeah thanks for joining us we'll mm. see you next week bye from, yeah. from tea bye <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Are you still there? <laughs> Bye.